key tips and advice for Python. So if you want to download Python, it's on python.org and this is the version Python 3.5.1. Uh, that's the latest version, I believe. And let's get right into it. So, first of all, if you want to output some text or something onto the screen, use the the built-in procedure called print. And these brackets here, they're called parentheses. And we can use a double quotes, and that is what we, we use to define a string or show it's a string. So if I write my name Samuel, and then you click enter to execute, because this is the shell. If you look at the top, it says shell. This is the shell form, so we're going to click enter, and it prints out Samuel. So that's that's how that works. So we could do print numbers. For, sorry about that. We could print numbers, for example, number 10, and it brings 10. Now, let's go on to variables. Variables are when you have like a name or a word or a bit of text which is equal to something else. And this uh, stores some data. So, for example, if I put name in capitals and I set that to Samuel, which is my name, now name is set to Samuel. So, if I go and print that out, if I print out name, then I, it prints out Samuel. Now another thing you might want to think about is lists. So if I say, set L, and we use these square brackets to define a list, and I could do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, we can print out elements of the list. For example, say I want to print out the element 4. I have to print out L, and then we use the square brackets again. Now, the way the indexing works with lists is the first, first um item in the list is zero so it's zero to four in this case so we're talking about printing up four and four is number three in the indexing because it's whatever the position is minus one and there you go it prints out four okay so let's try something else let's try inputs so say I was to put name equals input now input just allows the user to input something so say I was to put uh, enter your name if I can even spell there you go and now that will set name whatever I enter here will set that variable name to so if I enter David now if I print out that variable name it will now say David and you can see it says David so that's just some of the, the key procedures that you you can do with Python now let me show you some arithmetic stuff. So if I set the, the word score or to equal zero, I can add score. I can go score equals score plus one. And if I print score, score is now equal to one. Now if I want to add say say I want to add two to score or one to score, a quick way of doing it is to go plus equals and that just that basically does what I've done here but in a much more quicker way. It's much more efficient. So for example, if I was to do two, now it should be equal to three. So if I print out score, it should say three. And there you go, it says three. So that's that's an easy way. Now I'm gonna quickly look at functions and then then I'll have to conclude. So let's see. Functions we use this this key phrase D E F and then we write the function name. So I'm gonna call it print for example. So print and we use these parentheses to put a variable, I'll put the variable n as name, for example, and then we click enter, and you see it's got that indentation there. Okay, so we're just going to make it print out n three times. Obviously, sometimes you need to validate the, the inputs correct, and it's not something which is going to cause errors, but that's just something you can do. And now we've defined a function called print, and it'll print n out three times. So let's try this out. So if I do print in this bold in the way we've made it. That's how you use the function. And if I put in, which I need to use a string, I believe, uh, say I put in my name, Samuel, it should print it out three times. And as you can see, it's printed out three times there. So this is just some of the, the really, the simple basics of Python. But by learning these things, you can actually uh, utilize these things in many different ways, and you'll be able to learn lots and lots. You can do very simple programs. And in, in in other videos, I'll be I'll using um, actually making Python documents because obviously this is a shell, so it executes stuff immediately. But you can actually go a new file, and then you can have your own Python thing, 
and it, you can run it and it's a completely different idea but it works really well and that's how you actually make programs which you can use so we'll be doing that in another video so I want to thank you for watching and I'm going to do this I'm going to use my print function to print thank you for watching three times so let's see and uh, thank you for if I can even spell watching and now that should print out three times thank you for watching thank you for watching thank you for watching so really thanks for watching please subscribe and like this video uh, leave a comment down below what videos you want me to do any other coding languages and I'm sure I'll be able to do them for you and I'll see you in the next video